everyone, my name is Dom. Welcome to Car Jam presented by eBay Motors. Today we are at Technipro Body Shop and there's actually body work done to the Type R. So while Martin is doing all the body work, uh, there was actually modification on the rear fenders. Uh, that way uh, bigger tire were installed on the car as you saw in a previous episode. But today uh, you're going to see, we are going to bring back the rear fender to their original place. And uh, while he's doing so, I'm going to work in the engine bay. Let's go inside, let's see the work. While I was busy working on the engine bay with the valve cover and replacing all the engine hardware, Martin was working on the rear fenders. The rear fender had been pulled and rolled in order to accommodate the wider and bigger tires when the car was back in Japan. Bringing back the rear fender to the original place is a very hard work because you need to keep all the body line intact. Once the rear quarter panel were fixed, it was now time to put a little bit more work onto the front bumper and the lip kit that we found on eBay. The front bumper had some cracks on it, so we needed to repair that. Same goes with the optional OEM lip kit. We were able to buy that thing really cheap, but it needed some work. Now that the car is back to the shop, it was now time to do the part I was looking for the most, which is installing all the badges and stickers on the bodywork. Thanks to eBay Motors, I was able to find the original brand new rear badge for my Honda Integra Type R. So here you have it, perfect fit. It was now time to install some of the stickers on the car. A cool thing with original factory stickers they came with a template so that way you know where to install them and it's a perfect fit on my car. Since I'm all about the little details, some Honda Integra came with this Doc VTEC stickers on the rear glass. So I was able to find it on eBay and I installed it on my car. 
And fun fact, did you know that for the stickers in the windows, you can install them at the right place using a template that was in the rear window. There is a special dot to align the sticker. The side Integra Type R stickers are probably the most stressful part because if you mess this up, they are quite expensive and quite rare. But I was able to align the stickers at the right place and now the car is officially back to its original Integra Type R look. Now that the stickers are installed on the car, I was in a hurry to put the car on the lift because I really wanted to try out the new wheel that I found on eBay. I know we just installed these original Honda Integra Type R wheels, but I think that you're going to love the new set that I found for it. I won't show them to you just now, but you're going to love it, that's for sure. Although the car looks complete, all the interior still needs to be put back in place in the upcoming episodes. There's a lot of work to be done here. Since the car stayed at the body shop for weeks, there's a lot of dust everywhere. So we're going to have a lot of work in the interior department. So this is the end of Car Jam episode three. Already the car is completely changed. The bodywork was probably one of the hardest jobs to do. But now that it's behind us, we can concentrate on finishing the paint prep on the car, doing a full detail on it. We are also expecting to do the PPF on the front of the car, changing a bunch of parts on the engine compartment, in the suspension area of the car, and to make this car a perfect Integra Type R. By the way, all the parts that we are going to remove from this vehicle are going to be listed on my eBay Motors store. So check that out. The link is in the description down below. And by the way, if you don't want to miss out on the upcoming content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any Car Gems episode. So guys, thank you for watching. I see you in the next one.